wouldn't you believe it we're back again and the white squares are out but what are we doing today that we haven't done yet and i'll tell you as you can see from my inventory we do have five blocks only and what is behind me you see well these are essentially five spots we're going to attempt to build five various different looking home starter bases with only five blocks, given the ones that you're most common to see as well when you do start out. And of course, naturally, I do love the numbers. So there's 50 blocks inside of these squares. It's a five by 10. So we'll go ahead and get started. And we have unlimited time. The really only constraint I am putting on myself is obviously the perimeter of the base has to be within the confines of the wool. And I can only use the five blocks I got in my inventory. So let's see how creative we can get. All right, uh, the idea was, right, a little side angle, kind of narrow. It's kind of crazy how hard it is to build within a five block width. You know, if I had glass blocks here for windows and stuff, I, I, that's where I would put those in, right? Or it, it does look a little funky here on the inside. I don't really like how this block overhangs, but you know, it, it, it looks good from the outside. So that's all that matters, but yeah, yeah, one down, four to go. All right, goal here, same same idea. Of, I think I can make a little bit of an improvement. So let's see how this will look. Okay, okay, I mean, it's a little interesting, but I think we're gonna have to retire the the long style home here. Not a lot we can do, at least not really figuring out a lot I can do here. Kinda, yeah, it's kinda tough, kinda tough. Kinda get everything to play right the way I want it to. But, on to the next, on to the next. Let's make another version. All right, we're gonna swap it up a little bit here. We're gonna go, let's go a little inside, if you know what I mean. We're gonna, we're gonna make it look a little, a little better.
All right, we, we swapped around the entry. We gave it a double door. You can see I was doing some stuff with these oak slabs, but I don't know, it just it just didn't look right to me. So I left some blocks behind here. It gives it a little bit of a color difference, but then I, we started kind of building around that roof. And also, ooh, those need to be windows, ideally right there. So every every one of these is a window. Got it. All right, now we're done. Definitely, definitely the best one I think so far. So we'll see. We got two more. We got two more ideas. What, what can we come up with using the same five blocks? All right, we're gonna let's expand on this concept a little bit, but let's give it a little bit more variety, a little bit more umph, not so boxy. So we're gonna see what we can do in a five, a five height block here with limited space. But I think I got a pretty good idea. You know, I kind of like it, but you know, it, it just two two by two blocks really don't do well when it comes to like the aesthetic here, right? Where I can throw in a little different shade, throw a window in. Yeah, the two by two is just a little tough. Um, that should be a really a window, and and that should really be a window. This was weird. I don't even know what I was what I was thinking with this backside, but. Uh, yeah, I, I do like the way we changed the roof up a little bit, gave it a little texture. Maybe we throw like, oh, dang, those aren't going to fit there, are they? Maybe we throw like a little bit of something like that on there and... Ah. Regardless, we got one more day and we got five more blocks that we need to put into a five by ten. All right, final, final attempt. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways to do this, but I wanted to just limit it to the five because you know it sounds good. Five, five, five. You know the deal. So I'm going to do a little something simple and I want to get more edging kind of around my roof, right? We've had very much been stuck with kind of straight down because we sit here and we're right up on the five by five constraints. So I'm going to try to give myself a little bit of space here on the side so I can really use these slabs. I feel like the poor oak slab has just gone so underutilized and it's really just been a God, I've been doing four blocks and then the oak slab is my my way of throwing downstairs and stuff more effectively. So with that in mind, let's let's finish this challenge up and then see what we come up with at the end. I don't even know why I put those little antenna things there, but boy, do they look bad. Uh, okay, well, here you are. This is the final one. Um, let's go with something like this, a little, little bit nicer. It is just... 
It is interesting. I, I, I mean, yeah, I want to get rid of those. Maybe I do that. Maybe it looks a little better. It's like I got whiskers or something going on. But yeah, I really tried to make uh, make those slabs work, but man, I, I just can't. Um, backside, obviously, I just left there. This is where, you know, throw in some bushes or flowers or whatever else. It, it would look nicer, but the idea as well with these, like, pegs was, you know, maybe if I did it like this. Um, so let's say down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That'll probably look a little better, like little, like wood logs, right? Like a log cabin. So anyway, there you are. There you have it. We got five different builds with five blocks only in a five by 10 space or, you know, 50 blocks. Let me know uh, which, which one was your favorite. I think mine is probably it's either between these two i think these two were definitely my favorite um i'm gonna have to probably go with this one though it's got the most it's got the most cozy vibe for me but you let me know down in the comments below what you think was your favorite of course if you have any other ideas or challenges i obviously love restraining myself to some various restrictions because i think that's the best way for me to learn creativity wise and i will see you next time thanks for stopping by